Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of the year of the Disc Only Podcast. Oops. Fixed it. There we go. Welcome, everybody, to the Disc Only Podcast, the podcast that exists still, somehow, into now three separate years. This is officially the third calendar year that Disc Only has existed in, and we're still not sure how. I'm your main host, Proton John, and this year my New Year's resolution was to actually remember the things that I think of and make me laugh at the beginning of the day by the end of the day. So far, I have not succeeded. My name is Tom Fox, and my New Year's resolution is to adopt a more exciting intro. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm... Sorry, I yawned. Uh, <laughs> I didn't plan on it. I thought it was going to be a burp, and I started to try and formulate the burp, and my body was like, it ain't ready, dude, so turn it into a, like a, like a yawn sigh, and I was like, oh, okay. Anyway, I'm Steven. I didn't say that part. And I'm Jared, and uh, my New Year's le- resolution is to always intro last. Wait, I'm already doing that. Never good mind. Good news. Good news. You're doing, you're doing, that one. You're doing, I'm doing, you're doing well, it. man. It's starting yeah. the freaking year right. Let's go. For Proud for a you. genuine second after Tom's intro, I thought everyone was parodying me because Tom did like the, the low energy intro and then <laughs> Steven yawned. I'm like, wow, they're just going all in on it right now. I'm getting roasted today. I got, so I got this thing. So I got this. So this is new information for folks as of like today, except everyone here because I just told you, but I have a stomach ulcer, apparently. The doctor thinks I have a stomach ulcer. One of the weird side effects of it is this feeling of, like, you feel like you have to burp, but you can't. Is and it the feeling that tonight's going to be a good night? <laughs> I If I burp, it'll be, it'll be awesome, but it probably won't actually relieve, like, pressure, so I don't know. That's going to be can, can, good night. Can we call yours Ulcer Chan so that mine... <laughs> From last year is no, no longer called ulcer. Chan. Yeah, we're gonna have uh, Steven, Is your stream gonna have an emote dedicated to your ulcer? Uh, well, uh, that was not really the plan. I'm afraid it is now. I don't we, think you have any way out of that. Uh, we, I, I'm glad that mine turned out to be a like just a heidel hernia instead, which you is already got, you, know, you already fine. got you already got Peggy and Poggy. Now you just need like ulcer the ulcer the ulcer. <laughs> That's the thing. Every time, every time we do a disc only podcast, I wind up with either a new alert or a new emote or something within the next few days. Because on the last the last month that we did this, Mal made a sock puppet. You're and welcome. then I wound up I, I wound up with Poggy. So now we have an alert where the little the little sock puppet comes up on the screen. And I don't says, know how Poggers. I don't know how many people know this, but like it was it was af- it was right after we did the last disc only that Mal came into Steven's office with the with the puppet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, no, straight up. Like we got pictures as we were like ending the podcast. It was hilarious. Mal was excited. She was like, <laughs> I like, anyway, I like I how you this. went from not even knowing about that whole like. Uh, I was about to say Toys R Us, uh, Chuck E. Cheese, like, stream thing to basically making an alert immediately. (laughs) (laughs) Jeez. I mean, listen, it works, man. It freaking works. We have a very fast turnaround time. We we do it. Between (laughs) between the stupid jokes, the audience, and Chaz, like, you've got a very fast turnaround time. (laughs) It's it's true. It's true. (laughs) Better or worse. Do, uh... Changing the subject here real quick. Do any of you follow the uh, the mildly threatening nota- uh, musical notation Twitter? No. Uh, so I f- I'm going to link it in the in the uh, Discord. But uh, I want you to take a look at that. <laughs> the both buttocks, huh? <laughs> yep. It's a... Uh, it's a... <laughs> it's a musical notation for... Uh, <laughs> where you have to sit on the keyboard and jump into normal position without losing without losing the tempo, dude. Man, that's that's actually crazy that it's just a block <laughs> of note. It's just a big old thick boy block. Man, yeah, just use both butt cheeks just to crush that keyboard. <laughs> just <Ooh>. boom. <laughs> Th- that is something that you would have to be very careful about, like what instrument you're doing it on. Because if it's like 
just one of those little Casio keyboards on a stand, I'm pretty sure that, that <laughs> would not gonna collapse. Out. That sucker's gonna get just stuck between your butt cheeks. At that if it's point. on a if <laughs> it's on a if it's on a baby grind, then you're probably gonna you're gonna probably gonna devalue it. Oh and my god, dude! You know if it's the, on, oh god. I was gonna say, you know what I want to see now is I want to see a musical notation that says just one butt cheek, <laughs> 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 only left buttock. One, one buttock, yeah. We will know if it is the right one as well. <laughs> <laughs> The reason they can tell is because they know which notes the buttocks <laughs> yeah. should be at when they sit on it. This is a C, uh, and this is also a C. Oh but it's a higher God. C. Higher yeah. C, lower C. Depends on. It really depends on how big your butt is. You might be able to do like a full-on, uh, what is it called, an octave? Like just at once. Yeah. Just <laughs> doom, doom, like, <laughs> doom, doom, doom. <laughs> My God! Oh, uh, frick! <laughs> See, I feel like is, I, I feel like there is probably some sort of like animated thing where like somebody just has their butt up into a piano and it's like playing spectacularly, but you don't see exactly what's going on. That's have you ever probably heard a, like a Looney Tunes bit? At this yeah, point. That, that, that's what it make me think of. Have you all ever heard of uh, manualists? No. no. So a manualist is somebody who can play music with their hands going like this. Oh. Oh yeah. 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 There's a there's a word for it. And uh yeah, yeah, basically that. And it's actually kind of insane to watch somebody do it because it's really funny. Like yeah, there was um Weird Al actually had a manualist uh that performed on some songs, but then also notably was in one of his music videos, and I actually got a chance to see him working. <laughs> I think it was the the which one was it? It was the one where... Wait, nerdy? No, it was the news one. The the There's a news oh. one where it's like talking about news stories of the day. Mm. Yeah, headline news. Headline news, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, one, of my, man. one of my friends when... Uh, one of my friends does a, uh, does a uh, series, like whatever there's a new <clears throat> Soul Calibur game, where it's just him and his friends making each other laugh with the stupid characters they come up with, and one of them was just like... It's a skeleton with a scythe dressed in a robe made out of newspapers just called the news. <laughs> I, I'm here to, to bring sorrow to your day. No one can escape the news. Oh my God. Freaking butt, s- butt piano made I, I, I me think a, of that. I want a complete <clears throat> list of every performance of musical instruments played by butts. Um, and like... <laughs> Let's a lot of percussion. He, Probably well, a lot of percussion. Thing. That's the thing. Piano, percussion, those are easy. I want, like, harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, there's probably a couple horns out there at the very least. Yeah. <laughs> Violin? It's, it, seems, it seems very difficult to do. Like, I'm, because uh... you would have to be passing gas in order to, to play, which seems, you know, hard to do continuously. I'm, uh, I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not, I'm not lie. I would want to see somebody be able to play the violin with their butt. Dude, I'm sorry. I have to switch this up. Like, that thing about Blue just <laughs> not being an outside cat. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's the, it's the scale of, like, who, uh, <laughs> which one of our pets is an outdoor pet versus an indoor pet, and Blue is on the farthest on the inside. It says, it says take, take me, me outside, outside, and I will literally collapse. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Dude, that is so perfect. Sorry to interrupt. That that just freaking <laughs> destroyed me. Oh, speaking of pets, yesterday was Manatee's birthday. Happy, hey, birth. happy, happy birthday, birthday, dog. He is no longer a pupper. He is now a pupo. Next year he will be some portmanteau of pup, pup, pupper and doggo. Dog. He's growing. He's growing. Is what I'm trying to say. He will be a doggy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. He's a. Uh... He he had a good birthday yesterday. I took him to the park. I took him to the pet store. Um, I think head cannon wise, his favorite food is donuts because when he first got here, he had a little plush donut that squeaked. And at the pet store, I found a little donut uh, treat that he could have, uh, so I gave that to him. So yeah, now my dog really enjoys donuts as far as my head cannon goes. I think his favorite food is actually chicken, but I'm um, just but like let's just say that he likes donuts. And then today, the day after his birthday, he had a bath. Ah, so Actually, he felt betrayed, is what you're saying. Well, yeah, there is a little bit of betrayal there, but also the bath was warranted, because when I went to the park, there was a St. Bernard at the park that would not leave him alone. And I'm not talking about an aggressive way. This St. Bernard just wanted to, like, smell every inch of manatee. 
And being a St. Bernard, Manatee ended up drenched in, in slobber by the time it was all said and done. To the point, and it got to the point where like the owner had to take the St. Bernard away three times before like before I was like, okay, I think we're done at the park. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, you know, at least friendly dog. Yeah, no, very, very, like very friendly. But the but the owner was like, he's never done this before. Like, I honestly have no idea how to react to it. Manatee seemed a little bit put off by the size of the St. Bernard, but like wasn't really bothered by it that much although like towards the end of it he was coming to me to be to try to be like you know dad get this get this guy off me <laughs> i mean you know sometimes sometimes your 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 dog gets covered in drool <laughs> by by a giant saber this thing was huge like you know i've seen like great danes and whatnot but great danes are generally a little bit more like lankier and slender saint bernards have all of that size of a great dane with like the bulk of a bulldog Speaking of your pets being covered in um, a liquid, I have a story uh, that happened to me since the last disc only that you may enjoy if you have not heard it. Oh, uh, you know what? I have heard this, but the way you started off made me think that it was going in a completely different direction. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the the other night I had brought a uh, cup of hot chocolate upstairs and I set it down on my desk. And it's important to note that I have never spilled a drink upstairs. Um, I'm always like really, really careful when I'm, when I have beverages around my desk and I'm like, I'm always being, I'm always <clears> mindful <throat> of that. So I had a mug of hot chocolate and shortly after Kep walked up to me and he, sometimes he jumps up on my lap, but a lot of times he wants me to pick him up. So I was like, Oh, hi buddy. I'll, I'll pick you up. So I, I reach down I start picking him up. And as I pick him up, his tail like goes whoosh and it doesn't knock over the hot chocolate but it aggressively splashes the top of the hot chocolate and hot chocolate goes everywhere. It's like these little beads of hot chocolate from like one end of the desk to the other. It's on my scanner, it's on like hard drives, it's all over my keyboard, it's everywhere. And I'm like, ah. Uh. So I, I finished putting him on my lap and then I realize that the end of his tail is covered in hot chocolate. Now, if you're not familiar, Cats, as well as a lot of other animals, they can't have chocolate. It's very dangerous to them. And I saw this, and my brain was like, oh, no, chocolate. And the best I could come up with in that particular moment was to insert Kepler's tail directly into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and, when, and when I did this, <clears throat> Kepler's head, like, spun around, and he looked at me like, I'm sorry? Father, what are you doing? <laughs> and he started to like try to get away from me, so I, I used my other hand to like cuff his his neck. And I'm sitting there with like three or four inches of the cat's tail into my mouth, and I just go, Hoot! and I suck all the hot chocolate off of his tail. And what I really did is save his life. <laughs> um, but he had great concerns about that. Anyway, so I put. <laughs> I put, I put the cat down on the floor and I grab like a nearby tissue and I finish doing that and he's he's fine. And I went oh. and I told Mao and Mao was laughing so hard. She's like, you have to stop telling this story. I'm going to pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she meant don't tell the story because it is entirely embarrassing. Not don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell the story for the sake of my humility. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's um you know it's one of those things like I, if i would have given it a little more thought i could have come up with a different solution but at the time i was like oh no chocolate bad and just right into my mouth <laughs> but let it be known that there there's no length that i will not go to for my my Same animals the, the only thing that would have made that even better is if mal would have walked into that room the moment <laughs> <laughs> you put that cat's tail in your mouth and you were like, oh, can explain? <laughs> I can explain. <laughs> Dude, that that would have that would have been the icing on the cake, man. Oh my god. I, I, I would like that would just be the perfect there. She'd like walk in, probably ask me like a question or something, or just bring something up. Or like <laughs> just something. And then just like the longest beat of like eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's it's Steve Stephen and Mal making eye contact and Kepler looking between the two. Yeah. <laughs> Mama, please save me. <laughs> Father is trying to consume me. 
It was, dude, it was the sound effect of you going, huh, that got me. I mean, it, that was, that was a true to life sound recreation, Jared. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the sound that I, that it made. Oh God. That... He's, he, he's on my lap now and he's looking up at me as if to say, okay, you enjoy your story, but don't you ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me when uh, I've already told this story on disc only, so I'm not going to say it again. But uh, whenever freaking blue kicked me in the mouth after he ran through something that ladybug had thrown up, I didn't on purpose <laughs> have that happen to me. I didn't. That wasn't the thing I thought about, but I picked that cat up and he kicked I me directly his, in the mouth. I got to put his vomit covered foot in my mouth. No, that was the last thing I wanted to happen. But that boy, <laughs> that boy kicked me directly into my open mouth. And I was oh. just like, <laughs> <laughs> and Erica her i've never heard her laugh that hard before it's going to take a lot to make her laugh harder than that probably and i am working on that i'm trying to find something if uh <laughs> if if the noise that you just made in the recreation matched the noise that you made at that moment i'd be on the floor as well oh dude yeah 100 percent. It, it was the that you know what just like steven it was an accurate re uh, recreation <laughs> there you go <laughs> I, have I told the story on Disc Only about uh, when me and Sagan recreated the carnival act? What, uh, what, what carnival one. act are we talking about here? Okay, well, this, 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 this ties <laughs> into me. This ties into me inserting parts of my cats into my mouth. So I guess I'll just include it now. Okay. Um, uh, so this was a few years ago. Mal and I went to see. It was like a, it wasn't a car. It was it was in a theater, but it was like a, a traveling show type thing where they did like carnival wax, like high wire stuff, and it wasn't a circus, but it was that sort of thing, like yeah, different. You know, it was like a fair, like. kind of, but it was it was in like a like a theater thing. So this is oh. there was, it was all on like stage. One of the acts that we saw was uh, this person that had. I remember it as a cat. Mal remembers it as the dog, but it doesn't matter. Small animal that would walk on the person. As they did, like, like rolls and cartwheels, like they would like move their body and the, and the animal just walk along them, which is like really really neat. Yeah. And when we got out of there, I was like, Mal, Sagan is so smart. Sagan could do that. Oh and no. I was like, Mal was like, well, you know, you can try when we get home. So when we got home, I lay on my back on the floor, and I I pull my legs up. And I'm going to do like a backwards roll. And I'm like, Mal, get Sagan. Put him on my chest. <laughs> so we put Sagan on my chest and we start to encourage, I, I like spread my legs and I'm encouraging him to like walk like through my legs as I'm doing a backwards roll. So he'll walk up onto my back. And I start to like do my backwards roll and he's doing it. He's walking forward. And then he loses his footing. His legs like split open like he like spreads his legs and his little cat butthole lands right on my mouth <laughs> and when that happened like my eyes were huge and Sagan's eyes were huge and Mallory just about lost it I mean she was dying and Sagan like he ran and I was like oh I really need to wash my mouth and then Kepler was like, that's never going to happen to me. <laughs> Kepler had a few more years till he had his turn. Oh uh, anyway, it apparently, it apparently takes more practice than, like, one time. Shocking. Yeah. <laughs> John, do you have, any, you have any crazy stories to give us <laughs> with about, uh, Bagel? Uh, about cats? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> uh, bagel. Yeah, John. When did when did you kiss Bagel's butthole? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Uh, Consider yourself lucky. Yes, I do. Now <laughs> in the chat with the twenty twenty hindsight, saying a forward roll would have worked much better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suggesting that in the moment, Mallory. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, the only like story I have with with manatee in terms of like. I don't really have anything in terms of like of like body parts of manatee going into my body parts, um, but like, <laughs> oh but my it, god, what? man, <laughs> what? But I, yeah, that, is, is no, that you're fine. Don't, don't just keep going. Isn't that basically how it works? Yeah, uh, you're fine. But but like at the park one time, like I'm just thinking of, of just like crazy pet stories. He fell into he fell into the river. 
Like, uh, there's like, there was like these stone steps that went down to the river, but there wasn't like one at the bottom that was actually in the water. So he, he like takes a step down and falls into the water. Oh, and, no. like a, and, and this is before I knew whether or not he could swim. So there's like a moment of shock and then I'm like, oh my God, go down there. His head's still into the water. He pokes his head up, swims back towards the, sh uh, towards the steps. Pops his, uh, his front legs down and I managed to pull him out. And that was, I mean, that was probably for the best too, because he was rolling around in the mud right before he fell in the water. Man. Ooh. There, there's just some good pet stories. Sometimes, sometimes they're just memorable, but they always. It's one of those things. Like when you reflect on them later, you're like, man, that that was something I'm gonna remember forever. Before, uh, before he got neutered. So one of his favorite uh, places to lie down is on like a, this big beanbag chair. He's currently lying down in it right now. Um, but uh, before I got my couch, that beanbag chair was really the only seating in the house. So when uh. <laughs> So one of my friends came over, a, a few of my friends came over actually, and I had like limited seating. I had, I did have other places to sit. Like I had the, um, uh, like the kitchen table. One of my friends is in the beanbag chair and Manatee was like, well, somebody's in my spot and I'm also a, a, uh, a budding adult. I'm going to hump him. <laughs> he just walks over and like starts humping him and like, and, and like he was, he was determined to assert his dominance and saying, that's my spot. Get out of my spot. I mean, so then, you know. So then, it was, they, and, and I didn't that. really, I didn't really make the connection at the time. But then my mom comes to visit, and uh, and he does the same thing. <laughs> she was sitting at, she was sitting in the beanbag chair, and he does the same thing. Well, you know, it it that's <coughs> that's just what they do. <laughs> yep, that's a dog. That cough, that cough got me. <laughs> that's a dog. That's a dog. You know, they. <clears throat> And what do you want? You want a dog to not be a dog? Dog's going to be a dog. <laughs> Fortunately, uh, now that he's become a eunuch, he does not have to worry about that anymore. There you go. He's got a great singing voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the path to be a... Yeah, that's one of my we, favorite lines from freaking... Um, uh, oh, God. Curse of the Black Pearl. Uh, what is that movie? My brain, Pirates dude. Of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Thank you, thank you. My God, just couldn't remember the first part of it. I could remember the tagline, but God dang. There was uh, there was another really spectacular pet moment that happened years ago, and I think the the thing that's so frustrating is that like I literally film my life for a living, and I, these are all like things that I have not managed to capture. I'm like I'm so mad about it. But there was this thing that happened shortly after we had the cats, probably within a year where um, I had taken my socks off and they were just, they were on the floor and uh, the water dish that Sagan and Kepler used was, was in the living room. Kepler walks over, picks up my, my sock off of the floor with his mouth, walks over to the water dish and just drops it straight into the water dish. <laughs> Sagan watched him do this and without, meeting, without missing a beat, walks over picks up the now drenched sock and puts it onto the floor. And I watched this happen. Like, Se like Kepler walks up, puts it in, walks away. Sagan walks up, takes it out, and then walks away. And I'm like, I so wish. I so wish that I could have captured it. It was the funniest thing. It's like a train crash happening. Like, you're just standing there in awe of, of, of it happening in front of you. It was so funny. Ke Kepler's like, this belongs here. And Sagan was like, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever Manatee is bored, he'll pick up stuff and like, what he what he used to do is that he would pick up stuff and then like I'd be like, oh no, he's gonna chew on it, and then you know I'd, I'd take it away from him, you know, try try to like like minimize the chase as much as possible because I don't want to like, he's looking for any kind of attention at that point. So yeah. now what he does when he's bored is he'll pick something up that he shouldn't have, walk over to me and then drop it in front of me like, ooh, I I took this thing, I'm being bad, what you gonna do about it? And it's just, and I'm like, you little, you little jerk. I'm gonna put this away, and then I'm gonna ignore you for like ten minutes, and then I'll take you outside, <laughs> so that way I don't reward this behavior. Yeah. It's 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 hard, man. There's there's definitely times where I'm like, man, I wish I could just speak English to this cat, because <laughs> that would certainly, that would we could we could resolve some differences. Oh yeah. <laughs> Make some. Uh... Uh, like, 
Oh shoot, man, my well, brain is fried tonight. I'm well, not. The, the, the hardest thing is like a lot of times the like Kepler will get hung. Kepler is on a very like specific feeding schedule. He has had pancreatitis in the past, so he has to get a lot of small meals, and he gets meals like you know down to the minute. And the problem is he might start getting hungry ten minutes before his his he's supposed to get fed, and I'm like. Mm, we should really wait those 10 minutes. But, like, I can't tell him that. So he just feels like the world is ending. He's like, why is there no food? I don't understand. I have no concept of time as a cat. Where is the food? I need food. Help me. Help me. And I'm like, just chill out. So I'm, like, trying to keep him occupied for 10 minutes so he forgets he's hungry until his feeder goes off. Then he's like, oh, wow, food. <laughs> has, he ever, has he ever slapped you? Um, I don't think so. What do you mean by slap? Well, like, I mean, like, like, like swat, like, like, no. like open, open paw, no claw, just. <laughs> no, we, we were real, real, uh, dis disciplinarians whenever, uh, the, the cats were young about like people are never, ever, uh, scratching posts. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, people aren't toys. Yeah. But Kepler does tap me like. <laughs> I've seen there, those videos. There, there's yeah, there's videos of it too. Where like I'll be sitting on the couch and he'll he'll jump up onto the the table next to me and he'll just very gently touch me on the shoulder, and it's the cutest thing. It's so adorable, but you know it is also like he won't stop. <laughs> you know I show these videos and it's cute, but I'm like he's just gonna stand there and he'll just continually like delicately tap me on the shoulder. Like, can I have can I have food now? There's a video, oh my god, there's a video I just remembered of like, there's like, there's like these two cats, one of them is in like a cabinet, you can't see him, and the other one's like sitting outside the cabinet, and out of the cabinet you see like a paw, like slowly like emerging from it, like, and like kind of like shaking, because like, you know, the cats, cats aren't very coordinated with that, like, in that regard. The paw gets all the way out, and then just smacks the other cat, like, incredibly hard. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah, an an uh, animals are great. It's yeah. been a while since since I've gone on like YouTube and looked up like a cat compilation. I used to do that all the freaking time, uh, like you know, like funny cat moments and stuff like that. Like uh, America's Funniest Home Videos definitely knew what was up. Um, oh yeah, that that crap like paved the way for the future. But like I used to just go and I would just be on my. Uh, like either on my computer or my phone, just watching cat videos for hours on end that. And like whenever the, okay. So it popped back up on my, uh, on my recommendations the other day, but have y'all seen like the hydraulic press channel, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Dude, like yeah. I haven't, I hadn't watched something from hydraulic press channel in about three years. And last night I, um, I just had one up on my freaking thing and i was like oh dude yeah i'll watch this again because it's been a while it was like a uh, like a 10 minute compilation of some of their best stuff an hour and 15 minutes goes by and i'm like oh frick <laughs> <laughs> oh i forgot how good these videos were god bless like there's just there's just something about that channel specifically i think it might be like the the people behind it like um like their voices or whatever and like, it, it's like, it has a really good personality because there are other like channels that do that. Like, you know, other like hydraulic press stuff or, uh, uh, different science channels and stuff like that. But that one just stands out for some reason for me. And I don't know why it's just really good. Yeah. I, I, there's something very visceral about looking at an object and being like, but what if it was squished? <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen those, uh, those videos of like, the people imitating the items getting crushed by hydraulic presses. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. I've seen, I used, whenever, whenever I was on TikTok, I've seen that. And like, it's just like, those. Like, I actually did the motion. Nobody can see it, but you can, <laughs> you can feel it. You can feel it through my voice. Like they go like all the way down. That is the coolest thing. And that takes a lot of like talent to do that. Yeah, Like to mimic that. <laughs> Some of my favorite ones are the ones that are um, where the thing's being crushed are so like firm yet brittle that the second the press touches them they just explode. Yeah. <laughs> one of one of my favorites was whenever they um I think they crushed a thing of toilet paper and it freaking exploded. Yeah. Like, like a paper like a pa bomb. Paper surprisingly explodes when it's compressed. Mm-hmm. 
and I I don't know why, but I mean, it's it like flammable. This, so it's the scariest freaking thing ever. Thinking about that, it's like oh, if, if we were to crush some toilet paper, it would just literally explode. <laughs> we were yeah. uh, we were talking earlier about uh, about top level do- domains. I'm scrolling through that list now. I found <laughs> I found dot oo dot o o o, bro. I want I want ooh. the eight bit drummer dot oo. <laughs> I need that. There's a lot of them that are just like dot some kind of um, like uh, business. Like there's a dot Netflix and a dot Amazon dot YouTube. Hmm. Some of some of the ones you wouldn't expect on there either. Like I saw one toward the bottom. Where was it? Dot TJ Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Dot How does that work? Oh, these are all just the company actual based ones then. Yeah. Ah. But but it's like but the, but those are I, I, like I I don't think they're available for purchase. They're probably just like specifically for use by TJ Maxx. Mm, I definitely want to buy Steven TJ Maxx. <laughs> 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 I mean, if you want if you want to turn ahead on a business card, have a have a TJ Maxx top level domain. There's two Ooh. X's in TJ Maxx, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. No result. Uh, there's also um, <laughs> I just found dot sucks. <laughs> so you just wanna just wanna put your favorite your favorite uh, celebrity. If you wanna make a fan page your favorite celebrity, but they're but all the domains are bought up. Just go for the dot sucks uh, top level domain. Oh man. <sighs> dot soccer. Man. Now I'm I'm real I'm starting to Google. I just really <laughs> want to see if possibly get a THJ Max top level domain. Ooh dot Skype. Oh my god! There's a dot There's sex and dot away. sexy. That one, that one, those ones are, are given. Dot sex and dot sexy. I really want a dot sucks domain. I like swear, legit. I just saw a dot salmon, but it was dot salon. <laughs> dot rodeo. <laughs> dot rocks to counter sucks. There's dot rocks. Dude, that's is actually that a pretty just, good idea. Is that R O C K S or R O X? R O C K S. Okay. Dot raid. <laughs> so, so you know, anybody want to get the uh, the the domain Shadow Legends dot raid? <laughs> 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 what you need to do is you need to get Shadow Legends dot raid slash Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> the. I think that the thing that I'd be interested in learning about, and this just shows how uh, boring of a person I am, is uh, the rollout of top level domains. Like what, like what year did they did they say? Wait, hold on, we want to we want to add some new ones. And like, yeah. when did sucks come along? Like how how long was it before they were like, eh, we need to add you know this that and the other? That, that, See, I, I imagine with uh, that was probably early on the advent of the internet, considering how much of a wild of the wild west it was back then. Hmm. I also see dot PlayStation and dot Xbox. I like. I wonder why. I'm sure that this is documented somewhere, but I wonder why dot com became the main thing. Just like it's just it's, it's, it's really it's shorthand weird. for communication, so it made sense. I thought that uh, I thought that com was for company commercial or commercial. Oh, is it commercial? Yeah. I thought it was for the communication, which to me the, inter- the internet was originally just for like for like the stock market and trading, and then it expanded severely past that. <laughs> yeah, to disc only. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Congratulations, we're the we're we're the uh, the result of stock market trading. God, I wonder I, if we could look back at like like a tree of actions, you know, like from the the making of the internet to this freaking podcast like how crazy of the event line it would be you on know what i'm note, saying like on that note dot old navy <laughs> how is that on that note because <laughs> yeah, it's crazy that we even have dot old navy to begin with Fair. oh my god i want to register new army dot old navy <laughs> <laughs> slash Marines, <laughs> yeah, slash How? slash Middle Marines. How do I do this? How do I get this? I need this, I need this URL. Dot uh, Ninja. Oh, there you go. I would like that. Naruto dot Ninja. There you go. <laughs> what One Piece dot Ninja? Ninja Gaiden dot Ninja. Ooh, like growing slash growing Gaiden. up. The the only top level domains that I remembered were 
uh, com, net, org, edu, and edu, and yeah. like yeah. oh, and gov, and like that's it. Well, and like all those, that's point, why I thought com was like communication because like net is network, org is organization, edu is education. They all I thought that's what they were for. Uh, yeah. I, that's the thing but, I don't know. Like let's I not was forget the greatest of them no, all. Dot Mormon. <laughs> But yeah, it, it is commercial, so I was, I'm genuinely surprised by that. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There is another one that I remember from my early days in the internet, and that is dot .tk. Wait, CK? No... TK. TK. Oh, TK. Back in, back in the day, like anyone who wanted a top-level domain but didn't want to pay for it uh, would use dot .tk, which is for one of the – it's a country code, but they were giving away their URLs for free. Ah, and like this was a big thing a long, long time ago in certain corners of the internet is that you would have like a GeoCities website, but you would get a .tk domain, and then you would just you know link to it, so you could you don't you wouldn't have to have a huge URL, but you wouldn't have to pay for the actual domain. Oh my it, god, it, GeoCities! It takes me dude. way back. Yeah, jeez, man. Some of my favorite websites that I ever like visited during my early days of the internet were uh geocity websites like they were so good that and like yahoo groups was actually pretty decent back in the day um it's it's dead now but like those are like two of the main things that i remember like surfing with angel fire too oh my god yeah frick yeah oh angel fire websites man those are those are actually legitimate like there were some really cool like fan sites for games and stuff like that, like TV shows and whatnot. That was great. That's how I discovered how to properly raise a chow in Sonic Adventure Two was through an Angel Fire website. Dude, yeah, man, frick! I remember looking up um like Pokemon cheats and in in big quotations cheats because those websites had like oh you could find the Mew under the truck and stuff, <laughs> yeah. you know, like that whole thing. <laughs> Did you know that uh, you could, you could just uh, you could evolve Dragonite into Yoshi? Back in my day. <laughs> oh it, man, dude, those are. I don't know. Those are it, the internet cool. has changed. I mean, obviously, like it's it's changed, but it really has changed a lot. Yeah. Um, because the the necessity of having like a dedicated web page has also changed immensely as well. Because a lot of people are doing stuff that their work is shown on a different website, whether it's Facebook or YouTube or Twitch or whatever. And having like your own URL, like the, the importance of that has gone down immensely. Like you can still yeah. do it, but like, you don't, you don't need to. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so much. Well, I mean, it's free in some cases to like host on another website. Like, I mean, like on Twitch, uh, I don't pay for the hosting on Twitch, you know, and I got twitch.tv slash the bit drummer. You don't really need a website. Like, I have one because we have a need for it for like extension back end stuff. But yeah. like other than that, it's just to host the <laughs> host the song suggestion extension and maybe post like, you know, charity information and uh, like website information. Like that's basically it. Um, I don't send people to the 8bitdrummer.com, you know, you know check me <laughs> out on the 8bitdrummer.com. No, I yeah. want people to find me on Twitch because that's where like the magic happens. So I. I have yeah. TomFox.com and I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> me, me neither. That's why I paid for somebody to make it. Because <laughs> I, mean, I have no clue what I'm doing. Like, do you not have a redirect at the moment or anything like that? You just are nope, sitting it's, on it? It's, it's just, it's just a, a domain name with a security certificate and I have no idea what to do with it. <laughs> like, years and years ago, uh, we used ProtonJohn.com as like a forum and a chat room. Like, we're talking mm. like 20... 2009, 2008. We had a we had a forum, we had like a chat room and everything stuff like that. And I used to use it as a blog every now and then too. And I just let it sit by the wayside for a while. But now it's like it's our store, so that's where like my merch and TRG merch gets sold now. But oh. also uh, like the RunawayGuys.com is also one that we have, and it's just a site of just like information on us, links to like our playlists for like our YouTube stuff, and like links to our mm -hmm. streams and just bios on us. Like all four of us, actually all five of us, because Dan as well, are all on there. But with like little mini bios and everything. So do you actually do um, your store in-house, like your merch in-house? Uh, Gerard's like, uh, company, I guess I guess it is essentially just that one video gamer, uh, does the actual merch for us. Like they, they have oh, okay. companies and they get it produced there. So 
Gotcha, gotcha. It's your uh, your thing is a um, a front end for that. Okay. Yeah. I I didn't know if you did them like yourself because that dude shipping and stuff like that. Oh my god. Yes. Oh. Yes. So, so yeah. uh, one of my friends ha does their merch store. Uh, like they they do like all like the shipping and whatnot for their merch store. It's, it's a husband and wife duo. The husband streams. The wife uh takes care of like the merch store. Hmm. And uh, they initially did it out of their garage. And then they just bought a crappy home to, to, to store all the stuff. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> That's freaking great. That's, and oh, which is like, I, I, I don't know. I think they've sold that that house, though, and they've they've moved uh, operations somewhere else. Hmm. Also, uh, John, get Reese on the horn because I found dot horse. <laughs> <laughs> um, She'll love it. She'll love it. John, I don't know if you knew this, but um, uh, I was inspired by you to actually make a um, a gallery uh, like a fan art gallery we don't have a boru or anything but we actually have it um hosted on the website itself i can't nice. remember what the back end for it is called it's like it's really cool um i literally can't remember what it is but i can i can check it out and tell you about it but yeah we have our we have our own little um 8-bit drummer gallery now people have been uploading to it so nice. thanks for the inspiration on that no worries. I mean, it came out of necessity for us, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Stephen, if only you had the, uh, if only you had the, uh, the, the widely, like the widely popular spelling of George, because I found a dot George. I mean, because my last name ends in dot org. That's true. I have Stephen G dot org. That is like the best username. It's pretty convenient. Not username. Uh, uh, I, it's my actual U name. URL. <laughs> yeah, no, you know nice I mean. username, I URL. I mean, URL. Thank What's you. What's your yeah. real name? What's your <laughs> real name? So, so, yeah. every time, so every time like uh, I spell your name now, I got to remember to put the period between the E and the O. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's... <laughs> The official that's the, that's on my birth certificate. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually his van. Your, your parents were big investors before the dot com crash. Congratulations, <laughs> it's a website. My, <laughs> I, my parents to this day struggle with the concept of what a URL is, so I don't think that they would have named their child after a URL. Wow, dot food network. <laughs> that's a, that's big. That's a yeah. lot. Would, couldn't you just use food.net at that point? <laughs> Slash that's work. probably that's probably what their website is. There's dot Ooh. football as well. Heck yeah, freaking Chris dot football. A lot food, of times, food these... dot net is just uh is someone sitting on it. Huh. A, a lot of times, these t uh, really like special top level domains are expensive as hell. Oh like, yeah. Trying, trying to get something nice is like oh well, that's going to be like six hundred dollars a year or whatever. Um, and people will sit on them too and freaking um, like uh, spike the prices on them if if like there's an idea coming out and people will just buy them up really quickly. That's why like I'm always uh, a big component or a, a pusher of like figuring out like your own type of username instead of like using um I don't know like a, like a Pokemon eight seven three four five yeah like it, it's stuff Bill like that. Paxton. Yeah. That was the first name that came to mind. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? It's like uh, make up like an actual like username for yourself. Um, yeah. And it, it's all about branding as well. Like uh, it's 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 hard to brand like a bunch of numbers and then like a, a name together. But it, I mean, it really depends, though, on what type of thing you're trying to do. Anything can work for anybody. But um, yeah, I say that with a number in my name, but it makes sense because yeah, it's yours, a bit. Right. Yours isn't, I, like, yours isn't like, you know xx sniper gonna xx <laughs> basically what's funny about that whole thing is i actually tried looking myself up on akinator one time and the question one of the questions that akinator asked me was does your uh does your does this person's username have numbers in it and i'm like no oh frick yes it does i'm an idiot <laughs> <laughs> it's just the word eight it's completely different exactly yeah like that was the thing i'm like Oh, I oh, I didn't even think about it. I'm I'm looking on here just to see if there's any companies that had uh these top level domains that have gone under the, since then. And one one that I I found one that I thought went under but apparently didn't. Dot insurance. Uh -huh. Interesting. Is, is insurance still I, around? 
And they are, but I thought, but I thought he, I thought insurance went under, but like nobody, I don't think anyone's, I can't think of anybody who uses them, and they don't advertise anywhere. The only, the only thing I remember about insurance is the, uh, the mascot, the mascot she, that everybody, yeah. yeah, everybody was in love with. Yeah, Erin, I think her name was like Erin yeah, Insurance. Aaron or something like that. You know, you know what's having a similar um, uh, boom like that in terms of the uh, the uh, 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 appeal driven. Uh, advertising there is Samsung. Oh, I think the, they have. The I, I, I think they the uh, voice command Sam or whatever it's called. Yeah. Hmm. I had to Google who, like, I don't remember insurance at all, and I had to Google Aaron insurance, and this does not look familiar at all. I thought what, when we started talking about, it, I was like, my brain was like, oh, education connection, and that's not what we're talking about. That's what <laughs> I was like, I don't remember Education Connection having a mascot. Uh, they didn't. Ooh, Dot Diamonds. Mm -hmm. I'm all trying right. to think of other, like, I think, okay, so out of all of the different, e like, insurance commercials and stuff, I think my favorite one uh, is the company with Mayhem. I can't remember. I, 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 I think it's Allstate. Is it Allstate? It might be Allstate. It's either Allstate or State Farm. Yeah, because mayhem like those commercials are actually really funny. Because like I got I got tired of the Geico commercials. They they kind of overstayed their welcome a little bit. Like because you would see them like a thousand times a day, right? And everywhere you went, it was like God. There was just there were so many of them. Like there's there's the little piggy one. There's uh like the so easy oh God, even a caveman yeah. could do it like all all that stuff like, it, it just of course that's what they want they want it to stick in your brain so you're always be, thinking they want about it to them. be memorable yeah exactly they want to be the purple cow but it's just like god those like got so annoying later on uh drove me nuts <laughs> like two, two of my favorite ones are the ones where he's a satellite dish and like he just falls jumps off the roof and falls onto a car and the other one where he's like i'm a teenage girl texting on my phone while i'm driving oh that one Dude, yeah yeah, that crap was funny, man. Like, uh, I don't know what it is about that, but like that whole idea is really good. Oh, here's Very one smart. Never, here's one that'll never stick. Dot com. Mm, I don't think so. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> never heard of it. Very, very under the radar. Oh God, yeah, Limu Emu. Oh my God, what is that company? Oh, what Liberty com Mutual. Yeah. Oh, Limu Limu Emu drives me nuts. Like that that guy talking to the emu. <laughs> oh man. I, I, honestly, I think they could get rid of the guy, and the emu would sell more insurance. Truth. Like I, I would and love, that goes. I would love a commercial where it just squawks and there's like <laughs> there's no translation. The and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, not okay, even that. Sure. It's a five second ad where the emu just squawks once and it says it shows up the Liberty Mutual logo and that's it. Bro, that would work. We're we're gonna start getting like minimalistic commercials and I can't wait for that because we're already like dumbing down the logos enough. We might as well get minimalistic commercials where it's just like food. And I can't, I can't wait. The name. <laughs> smoke. I can't wait for the future where we get two seconds smoking yet? before our TikToks. <laughs> I think I found the uh, the greatest uh, top level domain to go with the uh, with the the Gen Z market, and I'm pretty sure it's, it's I'm pretty sure it's for a bank. It's dot bofa. Wow. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be for Bank of America. Bofa slash D. Yeah, B of A. Yeah. That'd be it. <laughs> these nuts dot Bofa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, how about dot Bofa slash these nuts? <laughs> there you go. Oh god. Got, got him. Got, be, yeah, got him dot Bofa slash these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, man, we are freaking five years old, I swear to God. <laughs> no, we're marketing geniuses, Jared. Get it right. Yes! Oh, yeah. Food. <laughs> oh, man. I, can't, I, I would love that if, if that was my domain and I was just like on stream. It's like, yeah, you can like you can head over to my website. <laughs> Got him to bofa slash these nuts. <laughs> so I, I, I'm really curious. Like some of these, some of these top level domains certainly have to be just off limits to the general public. But it oh, yeah. does mean that if you had the right connections, <laughs> and it flew under the radar long enough, 
you could have that. Like, there's nothing technical that's preventing that from existing. You just yeah. got to know the right guy. Yeah. Whoever, like, owns the distribution of, the, of that <laughs> top-level domain. It is all about the connection that you have. All right. I just found out how old this list is because I found .aol. <laughs> I mean, they still exist as a company. Do they? I, I, thought they, I thought they went completely under. Barely. I think they're like, they're used kind of like how Toys R Us is in the States, and like, it's just the brand. We saved the brand, and that was it. I once, I can't remember what video it was, but there was like a, a big old like write up about like the rise and fall of AOL, and it was so good. I have no idea what the name of that channel is. It's going to drive me nuts. But it was so awesome, like, seeing how it became a thing with, like, the CDs. Like, oh, my God. Like, the fact that they used to sell CDs for AOL kind of, like, it still blows my mind. I, I put a picture of one in the Discord because I think you need to see it as opposed to me reading it. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, AOL does still exist. They got uh, sold... Yeah, Verizon obtained them in 2015. Yep. Oh, wow. And sold them, or Yahoo and AOL, last year, May 3rd. So, uh, yeah, they are still around. Apparently, the first result that came up was AOL.ca, which apparently is in Canada's breaking news, entertainment, music, and lifestyle website. Wow. Do you remember when, uh, when Yahoo bought Tumblr and they regretted it immediately? <laughs> They're like, oh, we can't sell ads on this. Oh, God. Yeah, they made, they that made value a... immediately. Yeah. Here's, here's what Tom just sent in. <laughs> Dot a family company. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, like, man. It's, it, there's... It's, it's longer than most of the things you'd put before that. <laughs> Not dot a family company. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh man, but like that that was another video. I think the same guy did it. Um it was the rise and fall of Tumblr. Like that was another really like I love looking back at like early websites and seeing where they went, how they started. Like Google now looks nothing like it used to. YouTube looks nothing like it used to, right? Like it's just it's really cool watching the websites change over time for me for some reason. Yeah. Just that, that evolution. Like, I look back at, like, videos where part of, like, the joke is that, like, somebody else is watching it and they're going down to, like, the like button or something. Or, like, it, they're making, like, a meta joke that it's a YouTube video. And the layout's completely different from how it is now. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. It, dude, I utilize the Internet Archive all the time. I love that website. Yo, did anybody here have a Gaia Online account? That website's changed and probably not not existing anymore. <laughs> Back, I, did, I don't mean, I don't I don't mean that Tumblr's actually dead. I mean it's just like it's not utilized as much as it used to be. Let's one, put it that one way. One of the uh, one of the interesting things that YouTube used to do, and this I guess at this point it's been a long time, is that you used to be able to completely uh, alter the background of the page. Yep. So like mm -hmm. you could choose whatever, like you could upload an image, and back when uh back when Stephen Plays was young, like. Me and Mao would like dress up as the characters for the let's play that we were doing, and like it would be the background. So like when I did God of War, like I was actually I edited myself to look like Kratos in Photoshop, and I'm like in the background. And those are things that are just like long dead and it's just Steven, not coming back yeah. at all. Steven, I have to ask now that you brought that up. Did you take that picture dressed up like Kratos, or did you superimpose your head onto Kratos's body? No, I took the picture. Oh, like, thank I, you, Lord! Like I, it's it's me. It's in, incredible. And I'm so you you can tell immediately that in, in, <laughs> incredible. God, I'm can I guess you can use archive to search a YouTube channel. Now I'm super curious. I might go looking for this guy online still around, by the way. Wow, dang! All I know is that they're. Uh, is that inflation with like the gold coins that you got in that uh, in that got so bad and the people mishandled it so poorly by trying to make a currency that you pay for with like gift cards and I remember those gift cards when I worked in GameStop and like and the entire thing just like self-destructed on itself god there was another uh 
game like that. I I don't know if it was Gaia, but there was Neopets. like you could like well no 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 they you could like buy planets and I can't remember what this game was called, but there were there were like worlds that were built that you could, that sold for multiple million dollars and I can't remember the name of it. Also, I e- love Eve Online. Freaking, yeah, Eve Online. Yeah. Yeah, um, Eve Online. Like the early oh, days man. of Eve Online were kind of crazy. That and Second Life. Second Life is another one where you could uh, do a bunch of like you, you could sell stuff for real money and stuff. It's freaking crazy. Um, but yeah, dude, I I'm I miss Neopets. Actually, I loved they Neopets. They also back in the are day. still around. Did yeah, you I see, haven't played them though. Did you ever see the videos and pictures of that massive battle in Eve Online? And it's estimated that like four hundred thousand dollars was lost in digital content from that yep. battle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, golly, yeah. And I know, I know, Second Life is still around, Chad. No, like, yeah, like Eve is is Eve still there? I'm pretty sure Eve is. Oh still yeah, Eve is still, still running. Yeah, like it, it's just nutty, dude. Like all like the the game currencies. Like there was a, uh, I I call this an experiment, um, but it's it's a game. It's New World. Um, a completely, you know, uh, have y'all tried new world by any chance? No, no. that's the, uh, that's the Amazon MMO, right? Yeah. yeah. So basically the entire thing is there is no like in game. Well, there's no NPC bartering system. It's all in game made content that people can then buy and sell. So it's all player based. Oh, and no. be- because of the fact that there have been so many exploits made, they've had to like shut down the, uh, um <laughs> the, the economy multiple times since the game has come out and i played it i played it day one and it was actually really fun it was it's like it's akin to playing runescape with rtx shaders on it's actually really like a fun game to just go and veg to right but over time it's just like ah it kind of sucks because you know people have found exploits and the game was kind of buggy whenever you first got it and it, it was a really cool experiment into like barter tra- barter and trade uh just between people you know what i'm saying there was no like actual like you couldn't go to an auction house you have well i'm sorry you-, you couldn't go to an npc to sell you have to do it in like an auction house type deal and it's it's really cool but the the eh, you got to make sure that there ain't bugs that you can just you know duplicate your stuff with that that's just <laughs> not good i i get the feeling that a system like that probably wouldn't govern itself very well no it it really didn't god that's so oh man that's cool i love how like you both look really young but also look the exact same (laughs) (laughs) it's both at the same time which is honest to god impressive we get that so so much for the audio listeners it's um the uh, it's Steven's like old YouTube channel back when you were able to upload an image as your background. It's like Steven Amal leaning against the uh, the the profile. Man, yeah, this is this is ten years ago. Date joined twenty eleven, February seventh. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was Someone that was else... after you started Steve. That was after you started Steven vlog as well, like well after it. Someone else linked yeah, me Steve... the God of War one. I'm letting it load now. Oh, they found it? Oh, Oh, my God, Steven. Oh, (laughs) my God. Play that tape. I want to see it. I was looking for it. I remember it solely in my mind's eye. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. It's brilliant. (laughs) Audio listeners, I'm sorry. This is something you have to see to believe. (laughs) Oh, it's so good. You know, I have. This is incredible. (laughs) So, like, I am the type of person that never really ever throws anything away. So I know that somewhere on a hard drive somewhere is that PSD. Oh, oh my yeah. God. We, wow. That, that, there's one. I, we had we did one uh, for Kirby Superstar where we're, like, riding in the mine cart for the for that part in Kirby Superstar where you're in the mine cart. Like, Dude. we did we did all sorts of stuff like that. It was so fun. And then, you know, they took that away. And I was like, uh, we were really utilizing the hell out of that. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, someone in the chat said that I gave up on it. The problem is, like, I could describe it, but it won't do it justice unless you see it. It's exactly as advertised. It's Steven photoshopped as, like, it's a picture of Steven, like, like full body of Steven photoshopped as Kratos. But describing it that way doesn't do it justice <laughs> at all. It really doesn't. You have to see it. I didn't bother to give myself muscles. I, I, only, <laughs> I, only, I, only, I only painted my body. 
you know, what was necessary. <laughs> Man, you looked like me at the beach. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was I, I really oh. doing doing that like little extra mile stuff was this. Those are the sorts of things I always really loved the little detail work. Yeah. And when they took that away, I was really sad because I would have continued to do that sort of stuff. <laughs> it wasn't real body painting. No, he he photoshopped it. Would you yeah. would you be able to do something like that with the um with the current banners? Yeah, with the banner stuff? Would you be able to do something like that? I mean, it's so here's the problem. The problem is YouTube has changed and people do not go to your channel page. That That's is the biggest problem. That is fair. Yeah. Because for That's many true. for many years we actually put our schedule in our channel banner on Steven Plays, and so many people have no idea. They're like, yeah. oh, there's a schedule? And I'm like, yeah. uh, why should I even bother doing this? The, so funny funny you say that because my my banner has been out of date with my upload schedule for like months now, and nobody has said anything. See, yeah. my, my banner is now just the 8-Bit Drummer because I used to put like all of my stuff in there, right? And then... God, y'all should have seen my old business cards. It was freaking atrocious. But now, like, I actually, like, <laughs> I am so bad at, like, visual design. It's insane. And that is why I freaking hire people to do it for me. Because, <laughs> like, my new business cards, oh, they're so freaking nice. I actually got somebody on Fiverr to do them, um, which was surprising. I wasn't expecting to find, like, somebody that good. But, my God, my old business card. I put it together in freaking Photoshop, and it was bad. Mine wasn't. Mine. Uh, I still have my old business cards. They're not terrible, and they're still relevant nowadays. <laughs> mine aren't because <laughs> I had a Undertale meme on the back of my business card. <laughs> nice. Mine. Mine was just like, um, <laughs> like the the orange, <laughs> the, like the the orange and blue, like uh, like sort of like background with like the orange and blue, uh, like Tom Fox written on the back. And then the uh, and then the front was like the Tom face, and then like all relevant information that that anybody would need. Graphics was... design is my passion. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. <laughs> that sounds like that sounds like oh, I'm sorry. Uh, graphic design is my passion. Yeah, that, that, I, I actually I got that from freaking uh, Varg Skeletor Joel because he was making he was doing an impression of that. And I got that impression of him, so yeah. that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> it's an impression twice removed. Yep. Oh, Chat's giving me crap. Someone said in chat, like, and you still have a pissed off Ryu for your banner. Well, sometimes some designs just work. They're just Amen. on top of that, like Ryu's still relevant to your branding. He he really still is somehow. I don't know. I guess because he's, he's your he, he's your icon right now. He is. I mean, to be fair, like, okay, I'm trying to think of my icons. My icons on most sites are are Ryu, or it's me as an homage to Dan Smith from Killer7, or it's one of the attack kittens. So it's like, that's one of the three things that happens here. But uh, I was going to jump back to a different side story about uh, logos. Because cause we were talking about business cards earlier. Mm -hmm. I originally had a friend make a business card for me. And because uh, I needed one for, I think I was going to E3 that year, and I needed one to show that it was like, oh, I'm professional, etc. So I got one made by one of my friends. And uh, I, I wasn't super into it, like, but it, it was an all right design. I'm like, all right, for what I need, this is perfect. So uh, he gave me a design. It had like my phone number and all this other stuff on it. And I bring it to a print shop. And the print shop I go to, I didn't realize, was where one of my exes worked. So uh, oh, I bump okay. into her and she's like, oh, hi. Uh, you, you, want me to, you want me to print this for you? I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, we were on good terms, but it was just like, oh, I did not expect this. So I hand her the design and I just, I, she's like, yeah, I come back in like a couple days. Uh, I come back in a couple days. She's like, yeah, I, I really didn't like the design you had. So I kind of redid the entire thing for you. Uh, and <laughs> genuinely, this is what she did. She handed me the business card and it was like way better than what my friend made. <laughs> wow. And, and genuinely, and this is 100% true, you know, like the the pixel font, the the retro font that I have, like in the top right of the screen right now, like that logo, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. she made that. Uh, she that's, that's she awesome. was just like, yeah, I figured this would look better. This seems more like your thing. I'm like, yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> wow. So it was just this really funny thing. Actually, I still have those business cards. I still use them because like the design is held up that well. Yep. 
like um, mine. Uh, well, my logo is just a. Well, it was just a reformatted uh, Mega Man sprite, but we actually, um, my buddy Rex redid it and made it like its own thing, so it's not an exact copy sprite. Also, I don't know why he has a green shirt on. I've never really worn a green shirt, but it just pops with the red drum set. I don't know why it has a red drum set. I've never used the red <laughs> drum set. <laughs> but it pops, and that's all that matters. Um, but then the uh, the new logo itself, uh, like the 8-Bit Drummer logo, I got uh, Purple Almonds to do that, and it has been the thing that I use on freaking everything. I use it as... Uh, um, I, have it, I have it in front of me on a, on a placemat right now. Uh, or I'm sorry, a, a mouse pad, but it's, it's just such a sleek freaking design and I love it to death. Uh, so I yeah, need, I need to hire a graphic designer. Oh my God. I'm Christmas. I just realized that my freaking <laughs> logo is Christmas. Oh, uh, I, I oh, thought about chat, it and why, I didn't want to say anything. Why'd you have to say that chat? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think Dan popped in here for a brief moment because his name flashed up on the screen. <laughs> oh, oh, Dan. Dan. So what do you say, graphic designer? <laughs> <laughs> See, that Dan, no, that's my ability for graphic designer, the big text on screen. That's my abilities. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, um, I, I, like, I've always had uh, an interest in a background in design, so like anytime we need something, I just make it. Um, but it's... It's also been helpful because the people that I've surrounded myself with also have been designers. So, like, Dan also does design. So, like, <laughs> and Mal does design. So, like, if I, I'll do something and then I'll run it by them. I'll be like, so what do you think? And it's just like a group of people being like, yeah, yeah, we'll do that or we'll, we'll change it. Um, did y'all see that I changed my profile picture for the first time in uh, 12 years? Yeah, because you had a oh. bet with Adriana. And I kept it. I, w I was good on my word. I, I, you did I it on to... the very last day of the year that you bet to change it on, but yes, you did. Oh my god! It's the exact same picture, just it, it like it's a, it almost looks like uh like when you turn on the uh, the extended color range on the switch versus yeah, turning it on. I was gonna say the poster looks like a different color, but you can tell it's still the same poster. <laughs> yeah. Well, so the image on the left is from 2009, and like dynamic range on cameras kind of sucked, which is why my eyes look black. And then the one from the one on the right is just from like you know a few weeks ago, and Mal took the photo, and that's that's it. Two thousand nine, Steven stares into your soul. <laughs> he does a little and the, bit, and the soul stares back. <laughs> Mal, Mal was telling me she's like, you know, whenever we when Mal and I first dated, we were we were long distance, and she's like, I never got to see your eyes really until we were in person. She's because your eyes were always like these, these coal black things. It's like, your eyes are actually brown in person. I was like, yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's a good thing. You, it's a good thing. You weren't like, uh, I don't know. Like, like, uh, like what's the word I'm looking for? A demon. I'm, I'm ba basically like, you, 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 it's a good thing. You, you were never like, Hey Mal, what color are my eyes? <laughs> Oops! Like insecure, insecure. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, it's funny because like my my eyes are such a dark brown. Um, the doctor wanted to put like black irises on my uh on my birth certificate whenever I was younger, or like on the, whatever the little ID thing used to get in like school. My eyes are dark, dark brown, <laughs> like super dark. Good old blue eyes. People have seen me without glasses, so I can say that my eyes are like, kind of like a greenish hazel. Hmm. My Look sister up. got lucky, dude. She has like she has hazel and blue eyes at the same time. Not not like um not like heterochromia, uh, but yeah, like, not heterochromia. But, but like but, each, her, but the the yeah, I know what you're saying. Like the iris has like the the two different colors in it. Yeah, it's like a freaking sun flare, and it's uh, it's actually kind of incredible. Freaking lucky! I just got the oh brown. People posting that. that <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's a it's a you versus the guy she tells you have to worry about. And it's the the sack boy from from Stevens God of War time. <laughs> God, of, God of War time background there and and the God of War Steven. Oh God. God, I gotta. I gotta find this PSD. <laughs> it's, it's it's on a drive somewhere. Steven, I have I have a, a request to make to you. Oh, oh no. What's up? 
Um, probably won't be in time for Coliseum, but Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> you you want me? To... So that's the thing. I didn't dress up as as Kratos. I know. Oh but, yeah. You know Halloween. <laughs> that's, just, that's just what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how I get out of bed in the morning, Tom. <laughs> that's just a picture of me in my natural environment. Like I how mean, how about this? Like I'm the one who's dressed up for Coliseum for Rosa. So how about this year the actual donation incentive is everyone else dresses up and I don't have to. Dude, I don't I, know. I I really like I really like John dressing up. I think we should keep John dressing <laughs> up. <laughs> when we were I had an idea. Maybe I shouldn't bring this up because like because I don't know if it's confirmed or not like what we're doing for the uh, for the intro for Coliseum. But I had an idea that did involve me getting dressed up. I br I brought it up in the meeting if if you remember that. Is we it have ever not we have not yet figured we, out. We haven't figured it out yet, but I'm wondering if I should if I should like cuz I I think we ended up like like vetoing the plan that my that my idea went with. <laughs> oh no. Someone in chat just mentioned make it a bid war, dress up John or Steven. <laughs> 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 So here, here's the thing, and this is what's going to be like super different for me for this Coliseum versus the last two, is that now that we are back in person, I'm going back into like bumper mode where I'm going to be spending a lot of time and energy focusing on that. So asking me to be like, also be a cactus, but a god of war cactus is like too much. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quietly, uh, politely pass and focus on making interesting bumpers for everybody. Can have it be the last day when there's no more segments left. You could be like the last segment, so there's there's nothing left to edit. You just you're just like, all right, and the final reveal of the end of Coliseum. Here's Stephen, <laughs> the cactus. <laughs> for for that, instead of just bring Stephen out, we just bring out a cactus. <laughs> See, now, now and just thinking. dub it over. We get one of those little yeah. VTubers like live 2D setups with just a mouth, and we like superimpose that over the picture of the cactus you know that actually wouldn't be terribly hard to do because we could just crop out steven's mouth looking into a camera and like recolor it on onto the cactus bro we could do the same thing with you with a toaster hell yeah Dude. also i just want to i want to remind everyone and and this is very hard for me so i i presume that it's also very hard for you uh coliseum is in a few short weeks uh -huh. yeah it's a month and a half like that's ridiculous. Like the the fact that the fact that it's at the end of February is mm, that it doesn't sit well with me. I'm like it's too soon. It's how how is it, it already? It, it, well, it is two year or two years, two months at least early this year. So yeah, it does yeah, feel yeah. a bit odd because of it. Yeah, which means it's, it's going to feel like forever when we do the one after this one. If we end up going back to the normal uh, normal time, I mean, I feel like the normal time is better because it's after tax season and people have probably got their <laughs> returns and been able to yeah, actually yeah. save up for it. And, okay, uh, so there's the there's the background yeah. with uh, with uh, the Kirby superstar Steven in the uh, in the Kirby minecart and Mal's holding onto Kirby's feet. That is as super he's cute. Away. That is a super cute idea. I, although I do like, I think my favorite thing about this is Steven's face. <laughs> ah! See that, and that's, that's the thing. That sort of stuff, I love doing that sort of stuff. And we've we've adapted into doing some of that in like other ways. Like you know, we whenever we release uh, LP videos onto Steven plays, like Dan creates little intro cards. That it's not quite the same thing, but it's like you know, it has that little extra detail. So I'm. I like that, but gosh darn it, just give me the ability to change my web page, YouTube. You think you'll do more um uh what is it? Like the the live action shorts to announce let's plays like you did with Pikmin and uh and Zelda? Um yeah, we actually we did a little bit a little tiny thing. Um we made a new I is that new from last month? We made more Skyrim. Like we I recorded Skyrim ten years after, uh, because there's new content, God help us all. And we released those onto the channel as highlights. And I actually start episode 284, seven and a half years after it had ended, uh, with a little live action segment. So I, I was about to say, yeah. this this picture here, two things caught me off guard on it. One was the Game Station logo next to your, your username. Right. And the right. other was the fact that it says, Stephen plays Skyrim episode one, posted three months ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's way yeah. back machine, baby. It's freaking great. Yeah. yeah. Talking about Skyrim re- being re-released after 10 years. Why bother making new games when you can just release the same game over and over again, Rockstar? I mean, we can we could say the same thing about Tetris, technically. But... <laughs> Tetris really changes the music and some of the colors. So. Yeah, well, no, that's the thing. Like Tetris, I think... Is Tetris, like, open source? Kind of? Like, no, no. Tetris is owned by the Russian government. Yeah, they, they, there's literally <laughs> oh. a company called the Tetris Company. Uh, well, I, I knew there was, like, a company, but, like, they allow people to take the the game engine itself and, like, they have to keep it a certain way, but they can switch up certain things or whatever. Like, it, it's weird. I can't remember exactly what I read about it, but it's it's cool. Like, that's why there's so many different Tetris games is because of that. But, I don't know, I might be wrong about that. I mean, there are there are a lot of Tetris games. There really yeah. are. <laughs> You think, like, you think Mario got some games. I just, I find it weird because like uh, with Skyrim, there was, what was it, Morrowind and then, uh, oh, there was Oblivion and then that, right? Is that how it went? Like 3, yeah. 4, 5? Yeah, you're Mor- just giving 1 and 2, but yeah. Yeah, well, um, uh, the only ones I've ever seen were 3, 4, and 5 because my brother played the 3 on the original Xbox. Yeah, because I believe um, Arena yep. and Daggerfall, I think, are DOS-based. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. yep. And then, like, he played the frick out of Oblivion, but then Skyrim came out, and then they were just never going to 6.0, like, ever, because it just, it just keeps coming back out. They, uh, well, here's the thing. They have, like, they've shown a logo and a landscape for the Elder Scrolls Six. Yeah, well, because yep. they, they said way, Elder Scrolls Six and, comes out and after that was, Starfield, so, like, they have another that way, game yeah. coming out first. And that was, huh. and that, but it, it's just, I just find it funny that it was, uh, there was two years uh, it's been it's been two years since they've shown that logo, and there's been literally nothing else. Not even a, an acknowledgement. Hmm. I, mean, I mean, it had it had been so long that I think people were getting a little antsy, and it was really just a quick thing to be like, "Don't worry, we can still count. It's cool." Yeah, like it's eventually yeah. coming out, but like they were upfront about it. But yet, yeah, no, that's not how it works. If you announce something, like they expect it to be it, out in a year or two, and they were upfront, like, "Yeah, Starfield is next." And then we work on Elder Scrolls. Like, it's just the preliminary work part. But, like, Starfield, I think, is finally coming out this year. I think the yes. purchase from Microsoft slowed things down and also COVID. So, like, yeah, you well, guys aren't getting Elder Scrolls 6 until probably 2025 at least. What uh, What is uh, Starfield? Starfield is uh, their open world. St- uh, it's a new IP it's, for them. It's, it's basically sci-fi open world. Skyrim. Yeah, it's sci-fi Skyrim. <laughs> oh. Okay, cool. Or sci- or, uh, or or like space Fallout, if you want to put it that way. Except the world isn't blown up. Gotcha. Okay. I as far heard as, as, far as it, we so. know, the world isn't blown up. Mm. Yeah. It's... What if what if whenever you buy the game, it just opens into Skyrim Six? <laughs> <laughs> no. What happens is it op- it's the opening of Skyrim, but then it pans out and it's someone watching a video of the opening of Skyrim, and then. Or like it's a hologram or something, and then it turns Dude, into the actual that game. that would be the greatest video game opening of all time. Freaking <laughs> opening up into somebody watching the opening of Skyrim. Holy frick! It, but like, but it does awesome. a fake out. It does a fake out where it opens up as Skyrim and it zooms out. Somebody watch. It's somebody playing it on a monitor. Yeah, dude. Oh, something like that would be so freaking cool. That would make me laugh really They're hard. Finally awake. <laughs> And then, like, it's like a mom telling a kid, "Go to sleep." <laughs> <laughs> or it's like, or it's like, this is a this is one of those futures where a uh, a spaceship is like basically like a flying Winnebago, so they're just playing it in the spaceship. Dude, that that'd be meta as frick. I am looking forward to the inevitability that there's going to be Skyrim memes in the, the, in, the sci-fi. In What's other it games. I, I hope so. Starfield. Like you know, there will be. Oh yeah. I I can't wait until like, like oh man, this this game that everybody has been has been like waiting for and anticipating for so long, is finally coming out or you know is finally getting announcement. And the first thing they come out with is like, so the greatest thing about this is now you can uh, can earn NFTs in the game. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Because that seems like where gaming is going. I hope not. Kicking and screaming, like, at least. But mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, look, I am, I'm all for, I'm all for trying to figure out the next best thing, right? I'm all for new technology and stuff like that. 
but you got to do it in a different way. That's not like freaking over people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and also yeah. the environment, <laughs> like, like, like figure something else out, you know, like it's kind of like universally panned that it's kind of sucky. So try to find something else, you know, or try to do it in a different way. I don't know. I just always, I always look at like these, whenever companies are like, Hey, uh, we're doing this, even though you don't like it. I'm like, that ah, is a very, very good way of shooting yourself right in the behind. You know, I, remember, right. like, I have an alternative idea, which I think is great. And it is games should ship with sticker sheets more. <laughs> when, you open, when you open up your game, uh, which you definitely still buy physical, I hope, uh, you open it up and there's a little sticker sheet inside. Why are we not normalizing this behavior? Where's I my was, Mario and Luigi stickers? I, I think it was one of the higher ups at uh, at EA that was like, people don't want single player experiences anymore. And I guarantee you they're basing that metric off of like the sales numbers. Yeah. They don't, of, like, they don't of, like, want a, single player experiences. They want stickers. Of, oh, of like, of like, well, of like, of like a of like a single player game selling versus like The Sims or FIFA with a buttload of microtransactions in it. I feel like that's what they're basing that metric uh, that the metric of people don't want single player experiences anymore off of. Not more than likely. Hmm. But yeah, no, I don't know, man. Ever since the the president of Square announced they were doing it, it's just like, ugh. like here, they're the idea of like digitally owning something unique is going to happen eventually. Like, there's yeah. kind of no way around it. That's just where the market is eventually going to lead. But man, has the execution so far been lacking. Yeah, it I, really well, has. And I mean, like, I'm sorry, go ahead, Jerry. Oh, no, I was just going to say, like, the just all the PR behind it is just such a negative thing. And with people, like, utilizing it to kind of scam artists and freaking st to, uh, steal their stuff and crap Hate like that. that. That drives me nuts, man. I hate that so much. Um, but if now this is a big if, if they're able to find out like a way to do digitally owning content in a way that's, you know, secure and also helps artists to, you know, make a living, that's freaking awesome. And I'm totally about that. I mean, well, commissions are basically a way to do that's, that, of yeah, course, th right that's now. The thing. It's, it's yeah. basically just worse versions of things that already exist. I yep. know, and all, that's all for the sake, all for the sake of of making a dollar sign bigger. Well, because it's it's essentially in its current form, it's a pyramid scheme. If you got yeah, there yes. at the very beginning, you've probably made a shit ton of money. Exactly. If you get in now, you might make some, but eventually, like the bubble's gonna burst on its current incarnation, and it's just done. Exactly. Like, just, I uh... I do eventually believe there will be a better, actually sustainable, actually not garbage version of this, but yeah, it is a long ways away. Yeah, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Like, like this this iteration can go, you know? Like, it, it can just go, and I, I would not be sad to watch it go. Um, but, like, I am, I am looking forward... Because I am a person who really loves... I love technology, and I love people being able to make a living doing what they love doing with technology, right? But this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. <laughs> this whole yeah, system just all. ain't it. <laughs> Dude, this is uh, b basically what we're in right now at this stage is uh, Mary Kay, the virtual reality game. <laughs> yeah, like someone else said Herbalife. I'm like, oh, wow, there's one I haven't heard in a long time. I've never actually heard of that. I'm just, you know, if any, it's supplements if any publishers that don't do anything. are listening, just again, stickers, the ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. There, there are, I, like... It, some games that get physical releases later from like limited run or companies like that, they do tend to do things like that. Like they make a manual to put in there or they add stickers Dude, or yeah. keychain or something. I, like I love that I, little stuff. I cool. miss manuals in gaming boxes, dude. Yeah. I freaking miss that, dude. Oh, but look, that, it's a frog on a skateboard. Oh, <laughs> has, has anyone seen the, uh, the, the, the new South park specials? No, no, but I bet no. they're great. <laughs> oh, there's, there there are like nfts involved with it and it's like and, and, but it's like it's like people getting horrifically scammed out of all their money and they're like they took everything but look it's a frog on a skateboard <laughs> dude they, they're always good with that man they always know exactly what hits i don't even it's like it's like they like sold their souls to someone <laughs> to yeah. make that good of comedy man i don't see how they did it the, the funny thing too is that like for a few episodes they uh, during like the uh the like the COVID <laughs> specials they were doing, like oh. they were making, they were making jabs at uh at um, 
the audience based on on some of the stuff because like th there was kind of like mixed mixed reviews on uh on uh like the all like the integrity farm stuff yeah and uh at one point at one point randy goes did y'all enjoy the halloween special and like the rest of the family's like no randy we did not and he and he's and he goes that's okay i was i was more or less the target demographic anyway <laughs> they're so freaking meta dude like ah oh, good lord those two are those two are geniuses. They really are. Like as 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 crude as their comedy can be, sometimes they 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 don't miss very often. You know. On on top of that, like their musical talent as well. Like I I, I went back and watched uh, the um uh the Kyle's mom's a bitch song from uh for bigger longer and uncut. That song lives rent free in my head. And it's <laughs> such a good song! And it's, is... and, it's, and it's specifically about saying that one of his friend's moms is a bitch! It's it's actually kind of ridiculous. Like, that one and Blame Canada is really Yes, funny. Blame Canada is really good. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even know why. And that one, like, what what is it? Uh, what would Brad Boitano do? Or whatever, like yeah. that also lives rent free in my head, and I hate that. <laughs> have, you, have you heard uh, about Brian Boitano's reaction to that? No, no, I didn't. He he loves it and and he had to get permission from South Park to sell what would Brian Boitano uh, do T-shirts for charity. Oh, Aww. that's freaking, that's <laughs> crazy. Uh. <laughs> Some of like the celebrities that react to their appearances on on South Park are really good. Like um uh the the dog whisperer Caesar Caesar Milan is that his name? Yeah. I think yeah so. he he loves his episode the episode that he's in where where he's where he's basically training Cartman. <laughs> yeah, and he gets like, he's like like that all the time to him. Hey, stop it. <laughs> oh man, good times. All right, I think I'm also caught up on the art post, which means we probably should start wrapping up here in a sec. Just want to enjoy this Stephen Kratos cactus here oh, as we yep. slow pan down. Beautiful. I'm so glad that I was able to give everyone a special gift today. <laughs> it wasn't look. Christmas, but man, it still came out perfect. But look, it's a Stephen Kratos cactus NFT. No, <laughs> no. Stop. The moment is gone. The moment is gone. <laughs> I now but show this look, picture. I spent all my money on it. I'm, I'm now but showing look. the South Park TRG picture instead, as it is not an NFT. <laughs> we will enjoy it as well. It's always funny bringing up the blame Canada thing, being the one who lived in Canada at the time. I'm like, all right. I was like, all every time they showed off parts of Canada, like there's one episode of South Park where they travel around all of Canada, and I'm like. Wow, they went really hard on a lot of the stereotypes of both the different provinces on this one. <laughs> I think back to, thinking about like like Canada when I think back to Mystery Science Theater with their Canada song and how it turns into a borderline terrorist threat. Oh yeah, yeah, the uh, one that, for uh, Roused Hour. Yeah, I remember the, name, the final sacrifice. <laughs> I have no sense of proportion. Pardonnez-moi, pardonnez-moi. <laughs> All right, that is going to do it for today's <laughs> and this month's episode of the Disc Only Podcast. What were our talking points? From Dan, Ulcer Chan, CSEO keyboard. That's good. That's really good. CSEO. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I get it. Bathing a manatee. Don't eat me, father. <laughs> That's a dog. Top notch, top level domains. Food. <laughs> yeah. Stephen <Smoke>. Kratos. Is... <laughs> Sorry, Tom. What? Smoke. Smoke. <laughs> Are you smoking yet? <laughs> <laughs> Not now, Dave. Stephen Kratos. X Design. Space Skyrim. And I just want stickers. Amen. What does everyone have going on this week in their life, starting with Tom? Or I guess this, this month, technically. Yeah. Uh, I'm still doing uh, The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. You're going to be hearing me say that a lot throughout these past podcasts. Uh, <laughs> episode 69, nice, just posted. Uh, and I still probably have well over 100 episodes left uh, to go in this. Um, right. Up to the point I've recorded to, we're probably just about to start the Thieves Guild. Uh, so that's that's going to be exciting. 
In terms of streams, uh, still continuing my Pokemon uh, Shining Pearl Nuzlocke. Uh, we just got the eighth badge with very minimal deaths. Uh, I, and uh, I just want to throw this out there because uh, because one of the incentives I have is um, for every uh, every hundred uh, gift or new subs that come in, uh, I just get rid of one of my Pokemon. So uh, so yeah, come on and, and come on and enjoy that. <laughs> Where, uh, where I might not be able to beat the Elite Four based on the fact that I just won't have a party anymore. Uh, other Threw than that, <laughs> yeah, other than that, I can't really think of much else ex aside from the fact that I'm developing a, a VTuber avatar and developing a, a D and D game. So hopefully those will be done sometime this year. Man, I, I had my VTuber avatar done before the end of the last disc only. <laughs> <laughs> is it a VTuber though? Because it's kind of a physical character. It's just a tuber, literally. If yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Sock, yeah. it's a tuber sock. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's a tuber. <laughs> uh, things. What are we doing? Um, let's see. Uh, breath. So, Breath of the Wild on YouTube is like just about done. Uh, which is crazy because it feels like we started that on Twitch 100 years ago. Uh, so that's actually wrapping up. Um, I, the, the big thing, actually, is that we started a new channel. We started a VOD channel because Ooh. we had all these VODs, and we're like, where do they go? And we heard that maybe some other people have VOD channels and that that was a good idea. So yes. that's what we did. Yes, it is. So now we have now we have Steven Vod and we're we're posting stuff over there. And uh you know, if you're like, I like streaming content, but I can't make it, or I wanna watch it with a different player, then you can go to that channel. And that's that's it. I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think I have anything else to announce. Um uh, things is normal for me. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, uh, playing drums at 4.30. Uh, I want to give a big old shout out to uh, the Hololive community too really quick because um, I did a, a little project for uh, a stream that uh, Miko and Karone did. And I was trending on Twitter because of it in Japan, which is freaking ridiculous to me. I was gonna so, say, man, you have to mention this at some point. I was shocked it took yeah, this long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, we were talking about uh, well, all the different points, uh, but like, I was just, I, I'm just completely blown away by all the kindness that has come through. And thank you sandwich for reminding me too. I'm very tired. Uh, and I am hoping to be able to do more stuff like that in the future with like different collabs and stuff. And it was just, it was a really fun thing. And once again, I'm still just not over the fact that my name was literally trending on Japan's Twitter. Like what well. the frick? Not um, your name necessarily, just d drum on drummer, drummer Nikki, yeah, drum bro, which is the cutest thing ever. But uh, whenever it comes down to stuff, I'm probably going to be taking this weekend off um, because of the fact that uh, Magfest uh, was supposed to happen, but we're probably not going to be able to go um, just because of you know the craziness that's going on over there right now with the state of emergency. So, uh, and of course, that's probably not going to matter too much if you're listening to this anytime after next week. But um yeah just normal stuff just playing drums and releasing a youtube video or a uh, highlight every day nice nice and yeah for those asking as well there is an english translated version of the video where corone and uh the other person there i sorry i don't remember names very well nico nico yeah. uh they watch the video of jared and they commentate over the entire time they, to a point where they straight up say that Jared seems like someone that came out of a Disney movie. <laughs> that was Aww, probably that's, that's super cute. Legitimately, that is probably one of the kindest things that somebody has said about me. And that I'm just like, frick yeah, dude, let's go. <laughs> Starting the year off right, man. Let's that, go. That was super. You know cool, what? Dude. It's entirely true though, because Jared is a ball of sunshine. <laughs> I'm a ball of energy, that's for sure. Well, yeah, I mean, like that—that—that's part of the sunshine. That's what the, sunshine <laughs> the literal explosions. Yeah, yeah. You have you 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 exude such a like a massive positive energy, and it's it's great. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, uh, for, uh, for me, uh, standard as usual. Now it's a new year. We've made a couple different changes to some things. Uh, game clearing is the new theme for game clearing this year. Is remixes. So we're taking old ideas from the previous years and changing them up a little bit. 
This month's theme, we're doing like monthly themes for it. This month's theme is revenge. So we're playing through games that either we tried to beat on stream and couldn't for one reason or another, or games from my childhood that I used to rent and never could actually finish. So we finished up Fortified Zone, which crashed on us in uh, 2021. <laughs> We once again had Mickey's Dangerous Chase crash on us from like, we played it back in like 2020. It happened again on stream to the point where I'm checking out later tonight whether or not it's actually like a memory overflow with the GameCube we were using or if it's just the cartridge is just bunk at the same point. Um, but yeah, like next week we're going to beat the Flintstones, the movie game uh, for the Super Nintendo and a bunch of other stuff as well. Wednesdays, uh... Currently, we're going to be doing Power Trip this Wednesday, so tomorrow it's going to be where if we do raffles and whoever wins the raffle picks the next game we play on stream. We're also going to be trying out some new stream types on Wednesday because that's usually our variety day. Uh, and Saturday is Fortune Cookie, which more or less has not changed. The one big change for Fortune Cookie, though, is people can actually use channel points now if they've been around long enough to actually put cookie choices and suggestions in to the add extra options to the polls. Cool. So that's going to be the the one big change for the year. And uh, we're also going to burn through some of those options as well and dedicated streams to go through those. Dan, what do you got? Hi. Um, Hi. Yeah, so uh, I guess uh, twitch.tv slash motion Dan. Um, I'm going to be playing Mario Party. It's not All Stars. It's Superstars. Superstars, Super Stars, yeah. Super yeah. Um, pretty sure this weekend. Um, so check that out. Um, again, just plugging my friends here. Um, Steven plays. We got those Skyrim highlights, uh, episodes. They're Hell great. Yeah. Um, they're very good. You know uh, oh, thanks. Well, you're a funny man, so it, it's good. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we got a, we got a Bolivian. Uh, Krug's got his sandwiches on Tom Fox. Good. Oh, yeah, Krug wants sandwiches. Check Krug that out. Sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, um, you know, if you're like Steven and you have a stomach ulcer, um, because <laughs> you drink, because H. you drink too much OJ, um, we we did a little bit of a break uh, with Battletoads Arcade, so go check that out on TRG. Yeah, I got it also from your diet consisting of 100% orange juice. <laughs> yeah. Why? What is the pilot of this plane trying to tell me about orange juice? <laughs> yeah. uh, ladies and gentlemen, you drank too much orange juice and the plane is going down. <laughs> God, I, I, I uh, somehow it has added they, extra weight. We didn't account for it. They put orange juice where the fuel should have been. Oh, God, not again. <laughs> <laughs> the third time this month. Again? Nope. Uh, but yeah, the the actually, like, the latest um, Game 31 that just came out today that started today uh it's like one of the, the y'all do another co-op and it's like so close like it like you're on the edge of your seat by the end like it gets pretty insane so and for those that are a little exhausted of oj uh, we don't have too many boards left to the game but unfortunately, due to the fact that I believe Emil is still going to magfest i think tim is as well uh, i'm i'm the only one of the core three that isn't going uh, we have not had a chance to record anything else and may not be able to for a while. So it is back to orange juice for a little bit. So hopefully y'all are okay with that. Uh, but as of the last recording session we did, we, I think we only have three boards left. We're not doing all variants of like the co-op ones and all variants of the bounty hunt, but we're covering every core board. So there's not much left to OJ for us to cover. It was also not our intention to be playing it for almost an entire year, but that is the hand we were dealt. <laughs> <laughs> that is the nature of things that have been going on in the world. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to do the outro and then we're going to talk about when we're doing it next time. Uh, a special thank you to Popsky for our theme song, Prism Shard for our logo, Paper Pennies for the beautiful art in our intro, and of course, our producer's Motion Dan. Next podcast, now I assume this is not actually changing. Uh, the 1st of February is the next first Tuesday of the month. I assume we are still doing February, even though Coliseum is in February. So I assume that means probably during Chaos Cookie on during Coliseum is when the March episode happens. I assume there will not be a March episode as a result. I yeah, because yeah. like 
it's it's at the end of the month and we oh yeah the no the first the, so, yeah. the first tuesday of march is is the day the after first. coliseum yeah yeah, like, yeah that's not happening we'll do yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we'll do we'll do something nice you know during the event we'll figure yeah. it out we'll figure yeah. something out so February 1st will be the next episode of Disc Only, and then also later that month you'll get Coliseum. Uh, so I guess we'll point out Coliseum is in a month and a half. Uh, it is looking likely that Reese and I will not physically be there, but I think everyone else will be at this point, unless something drastically shifts. So we shall see on all that. That's going to do it for the podcast, folks. We're out. Catch you all next time. Bye! Bye. Oh, yeah, we can talk during the outro. I forgot yeah, about that. Bye. Bye. Oh. Second puberty happened again? No, that was in effect. Oh. <laughs> no, that's well, just I, I, guess now, I guess now I have the superpower to trigger second puberty whenever <laughs> I want to. It's weird how it keeps being the second one. You think that the number would keep going up. <laughs> the power is just called second puberty. I, I'm sorry. That, that's, just, that's just the nature of it at this point. <laughs> like Luffy's second gear in One Piece. <laughs> oh, dude, Murder Jim. What? We still haven't talked about it. Let it go. It's not real. Let it go. It was never real that to begin a, with. Let it go. That was a dream. I've never heard of it. Rosebud. <laughs> the sled? <laughs> what is wrong? Oh my god! Insane. The movie makes. Oh my god! <laughs>